everybody. We are back. My first guest is an Emmy award-winning broadcast journalist and the co-anchor of ABC's Good Morning America and Primetime Live. Please welcome the very busy Diane Sawyer. Thank you so much for being here. I'm very, but I'm nervous. Did I wear too much perfume? No, no. You, you smell sure? fantastic. No. I sprayed it and, and frequently I asphyxiate people. I no, you, you smell fan mm, That's very nice. Yeah, it's very beautiful. In the elevator, I watch people's eyes roll back sometimes. You know, they say oh, really? Yeah, I have to be a little careful. I'm wearing Old Spice uh, underarm deodorant. Can you smell it? Isn't that nice? <laughs> I can't, you, I can't believe you moved in for that. <laughs> uh, now, uh, so much to talk about. First of all, I'm, I am really thrilled you're here. My wife doesn't get very excited about celebrities. There's like three, and you are one of them. She's just, I, I think a lot of women absolutely the idolize you. And the yeah. Wow. The other two are Three Stooges. She's just a huge fan. Uh, you don't write. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not the in cut. there. Of course not. No. She thinks no. my hair is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> but does she know what a snarky devil you are? No. What are you talking about? Because of what you did to me. What did I do to you? I don't even remember. I've always been. I've always thought I have so. I remember what you did to me. Huh? Wilding. It was. It was guerrilla attack. Guerrilla attack. What are you talking about? I'm a nice woman. Right? Yes, I'm of course. Perfectly nice person. Sure. Yes. I go to a movie screening of Troy. There oh, are four right. of us in the room. I, four I was. Of us. I was there with one of our producers. What, right. What can happen? Four you walk, people. You walked in with your with your husband. My husband Mike Nichols, we yeah. watched the movie, and what could possibly happen the next night? You attack me. I on this show. You. I don't you even remember. Me. We do a volume business here. I've done over 8,000 shows. <laughs> We've been on the air since 1951. You said we talked nonstop during the movie. You guys did and chat a lot during the movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that's not an attack, and I didn't mind. You're, you know, I was yeah. very happy to listen to it all, but you're fine, right? You just took out. Were, I mean, I didn't get every time Brad Pitt walked on. You were like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, please, it's Diane. True. It was very it's unbecoming. It's very hard, though. My husband's a movie director. It's very hard to go to a movie with a movie director because he's always saying things like, you know, notice this crane shot. The third guy from the right yes. will die very when technical. the base hits this level. The right. guy will, and they always do. Right, they right. Always do. So he's always admiringly. He was, he was yelling, "Pan out, pan out!" while right. we're watching. The movie. I'm right? saying close in on Brad Pilt and the kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Brad yeah. the kilt. So. Now, uh, I, I, first of all, I think one of the things that I wanted to talk because I saw you at that screening and I couldn't believe you were at the screening because you work nonstop. You're on. I'm content with my one hour of TV at four o'clock in the morning. Uh, <laughs> Because we're moving this later. Uh, but I'm content with my one hour. You, you're on in the morning, you're on at night, there are specials, you're doing the weather on cable. I mean, you're everywhere. Yes, yeah, someday I want a tape like the Tom Brokaw tape. That's what I'm going for here, someday, yes. Or to be a Conet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you were a Conet, my, my rank would go way up through the roof. You'd hang with those guys? That's very nice. I would, yes. Yeah, someday I thought I should go into rehab, like a Betty Ford wing. Mm -hmm. They must have one for mm -hmm. people who can't stop doing television. Right, They go right. in there and walk around. I'm Diane Sawyer, and I'm a TV uh, whatever it is. Regis yeah. Philbin would be there. That's right. <laughs> what am I doing here for? i got to get back on TV. <laughs> I go. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm over there. Regis. Regis blows me away because Regis does all these different shows and all these specials. Plus, in his whatever spare time he has left, which is I think about forty minutes, he goes to Atlantic City right. and uh, and sings. Has anyone heard Regis sing oh, in Atlantic yeah. City? Yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to hear that. And it's a great. It's him singing songs. It's like you know, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, rock. <laughs> the crowd runs away. Yeah. You know, you brought up, I, I should ask you about this, it's only, it's only right, uh, you, you mentioned Tom Brokaw, this is his last night on the air, how do you feel about that, about Tom leaving, are you going to miss him? Are you asking me a serious question? Yeah, I thought I'd try one and then I'd add, <laughs> add laughs later, yeah. Oh, uh, you know, we're all going to miss him because we realize that they've been, they are the witnesses to our lives. Right. In so many ways, and he's right. a wonderfully, he's a wonderfully generous and, um, and good-hearted witness to our life. He's, right. He understands a lot. He's also funny, and he's a good friend to everybody in the business. He's also today. got that great voice. I wish I had, I, you know, my voice is kind of like, Hi, everybody, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> but Tom Brokaw has a great voice. Yeah. Have you ever tried to lower your voice? Have you ever tried to change your voice? I've tried your shots, voice? yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I formed breasts, and I had to stop. <laughs> They turned out they were the me. wrong shots. Yeah. It worked for me, right. Um, <laughs> I've always wondered, nobody is. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say this, but nobody has ever come up to me and said, Dolly Parton. 
<laughs> I'm waiting for that day. Just one you day. You want to be mistaken for Dolly Parton? Who do you get? Do you ever get mistaken for anybody? Yeah. Another, who? Martha Stewart. People think you're Martha Stewart? All the time they think I'm Martha Stewart. Do you, I, if I were you, I would go along with it and then give them crazy household tips. <laughs> Toilet, toilet clog, <laughs> throw a cinder block in there. It's true. And sometimes Leslie stalled, but we figured, Leslie and I both figured out the same thing, which is when you're, you're having a really bad day, right? right You've right. been sort of snotty to somebody. Right. And afterwards they go, you're, and you can always say, Leslie Stahl. Then right. they you know, walk away and they think, she's a terrible person, that Leslie Stahl. And she does it to me, too. I've, had, I've mentioned this several times, but I had someone on the street, I've actually had a couple of people come up to me on the street different times and say, aren't you that guy from Conan O'Brien? Really? I'm like, yeah, I'm that guy. I'm Chip Needle, you know. Um, now, uh, but wait four years. Wait four and a half years, right? How, how long is it now? Oh, uh, that? Oh, who even that. knows? I think it's in that. 18 years. In 18 years, I'm going to... But I'm in no hurry. I'm happy here. I'm content. Right. I just read that off a cue card. Um, <laughs> I want to ask you about... You work so much... You must be exhausted. There must be times where you're just, uh, you yeah, know, you... but you, I can't you... nap. I really don't nap, except it, I did... Did I ever tell you this at that... No, we were sitting together. Do you remember when we were sitting together? At the event, we were sitting together at a yes. long table once. Yeah. Anyway, I was... I had... That event, we were at... Uh, that's right. Was that it event. Chuck E. Cheese? It was and, uh, right. It was a you child's there. birthday, and right. you were in the bin of balls. I remember right. now, you yeah. You were there, and that guy from Conan O'Brien was there. And that there. guy from Conan O'Brien right. was there, Chuck yeah. Weedle, yeah. Yeah, that... <laughs> No, but I was sitting next to... Talk about the power of the... Truly unconscious, literally, but I'm sitting on a plane once, and it's very hard for me to sleep on a plane. I'm sitting next to this woman, true story, and she's sitting there, and she's, now we're talking Dolly Parton. Right. This is just the most grandmotherly, ample, sumptuous, yeah. Big just bosom. All, just yeah. giant. Just giant Big sitting rack. there. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> like that. Thank you. Sorry. And she's reading her book, and I'm happily just sitting there. I've come back from my... 24-hour day in my right. 16 shows, including right. the Hair Comfort Men. And the next thing I know, I wake up and my head <laughs> is right on top of the stranger's giant ample. Right. It, is. it was so sweet. And she didn't wake me. She let me. <laughs> That's, right. Right. That's so, so terrific. That's so great. No, I said, I, of course, said, hi, I'm Martha Stewart. And this was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. And then give her some bad advice. Right. I have to remember that excuse. That'd be a good one on a plane. Yeah. I'm sleepy. <laughs> um, <laughs> you horrible man. <laughs> it's Chuck Weedle, if you ever. Uh, um, now uh, I know. We, I want to talk about this. This is this is a big scoop for you. Uh, you've done this 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 special with the cast not of of Ocean's Twelve Ocean's now, 12. and and how many people were involved in this? How uh, many had, stars did you get? We had three. We had six. Three on each side of me here: George Clooney, Brad Pitt, uh, Don Cheadle, Matt Damon, Catherine Zeta Jones, and Andy Garcia. Wow! All that's... sitting there, sitting there in a room. Julia was going to be there, but she. I don't know why she thought having twins was more important than my interview. But what a selfish, she, selfish yeah. woman. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Give her twins. a priority yeah. here. Yeah. Um, Triplets, were, I could understand. They yeah. were so funny. It was, it, they're really funny. Yeah. And they, they clearly are old friends. They treat this whole thing like a giant joke. They have their running gags. They are merciless with each other. And sometimes very serious. And then, bam, they're back at each other. They're, they're, they're great. Well, it sounds like a fun special. It's uh, an exclusive interview with the cast of Ocean's 12, and not just one person, two people. That's what most shows oh, do. You got everybody. Right. It's, that's tomorrow's primetime live at 10 o'clock p.m. on nice. ABC. Right. Thanks so much for coming by. Thank you. What a treat to have and you on the show. Thank wife for me. Oh, yeah, I know. She did. cares more about you than about me. Diane Sawyer, everyone. Thomas Hayden Church, coming up to take a break. We'll be right back.